My name is Amir Patel. Welcome. I'm one of the top international serial entrepreneurs, a best-selling author, a success coach and a mentor. And I've lived across four continents with over 30 years of experience in those countries. Today, I'm going to discuss to you about my top 10 reasons why entrepreneurs fail. But first of all, let me thank Laszlo and his team from Business Days for allowing me to be one of the keynote speakers for the weekend of the 10th and 11th of December. For those of you watching, sign up. You will never see such a big lineup of top management CEOs, entrepreneurs speaking at an event over the two days with workshops of great value. So I look forward to seeing you there. But in these thriving times, let me explain to you what I think are the main areas why people fail. One of the main areas is people don't like to re-innovate and they don't like to reinvent themselves. And in trying times, you know, we've seen so many companies like the Nokia's, the Motorola struggling because they haven't had the chance to re-innovate. We've seen companies go way by the wayside like the next of Sun Microsystems now even to a point taken over by Oracle and others in the league where they do not re-innovate. So, at the business days, I will be discussing some of these topics, but here are 10 of my, as I said, top areas which, uh, uh, which most entrepreneurs have where they fail. First of all, most entrepreneurs, you know, we, 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 we tend to uh, lack writing things down, you know, so lack of written down clear goals, you know, goals are I want to be successful in this business are unclear not defined. You need to have proper strict goal. I want to do 10 million pounds worth of business within three years, something like that. And then the what's at the house follow. Also, there is a lack of completely filled out business plan. A lot of entrepreneurs say, you know, it's all in my head and I know it and I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. But when you ask them about what is their mission, what's their vision, what's their goal, what's their financial situation, where is their cash flow, what is their unique proposition, when you ask them all of these things, none of it's documented and 90 times, 90% of the times rather, they fail. The other is, you know, there's an inability to differentiate between selling and marketing. And what I mean by that is, you know, the world has changed. The days where people are buying has changed. You don't need to sell to them. When you walk into an Apple store, they don't sell to you. The brand is doing most of your job. So the brand and the marketing is more important than the selling process. The fourth thing is, you know, people don't believe in themselves when they're going down the entrepreneurship uh, uh, journey. And that's why they fail, because if you don't believe in yourself and you don't believe in your dreams, you know, the conviction's not there, you, you're likely to fail if you don't have faith in your own commitments. The fifth is, you know, you don't train and retrain and re-educate yourself. You know, I spent thousands of pounds re-educating myself constantly. And, you know, to be a master at your craft, you need to be doing that. I have a number of coaches and mentors where I've spent thousands of pounds and, you know, if you don't do that, you will become stale. And I have a policy that, you know, you learn until the day you die. The seventh one is, you know, branding, marketing strategies. Usually, you know, uh, a, a lot of people uh, don't focus on what I call, uh, you know, th th they actually do the feeds and the speeds and they look at their solutions rather than what is the problems of the people out there. So if you're not looking at uh, the problems and the needs of the people, it's no point if you have the best solution or the best functionality, nobody cares. So, so start your goal from that. Um, the eighth one is, you know, not investing in the right coach or the mentor. Often people go to their friends, families or people around them and ask them for advice uh, from people who A, haven't got any experience in it, B, they probably had a one hit wonder or they've got a big name in the country and see, you know, they uh, have probably read a lot of books and they are a coach and uh, no real life experience at an international level. Let me stress that why I say international, because the world is very much three dimensional now. It is not flat. 
you know the market is not just in Romania the market is elsewhere the internet social media and all these things has made the world very very large so you need a coach and a mentor with international exposure and experience the the, the, eighth, the ninth thing is you know learning how to connect to the client rather than just communicate to them you know and how do you get from brand awareness to brand loyalty to brand advocacy you know everybody strives to be at the brand advocacy level where you know people are saying if you ever want to buy this product you should only go to this company so that's brand advocacy and how you communicate and connect is very very important and finally i think most of the ceos generally are in the business rather than on the business so when you're in the business hands-on you do not see the helicopter view you don't see the vision you do not see the goals you do not really know and uh, have time to re-innovate and reinvent yourself with that i hope this was useful please check my blog uh, below www.murupatel.com and register for the books for your free chapter and i really look forward to seeing you at the business days event thank you laszlo